everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Explore the Spectrum. I'm your host, Janetta, and today we're joined with Dr. Gail. How are you doing? I am great. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate everything that you do for the autism community, and I'm just thrilled to be able to, to share um, my experiences um, on your, your pop podcast today. Yeah, absolutely. We're excited for you to be with us. The um, question that I like to start with, because so much of us or so many of us get our footing in this community organically, it seems that you might be in that category too. How did you get involved in being an advocate in the autism world? Um, Well, I might be in that category. (laughs) Um, Yeah, I actually have a doctorate in clinical psychology. And um, I really didn't understand what autism was about until my son got diagnosed, um, which was about 20 years ago now. And so I, as a parent, of course, had to to do a lot of research and networking about um, all of the different therapies and things. And I was very fortunate as well at the time to be working at Western University of Health Sciences, where I was a medical educator for 20 years. Um, so I was able to really do a lot of networking, which helped us understand what kinds of treatments and therapies to help him explore, how to advocate for him in school. And, you know, over over the 20 years that we've been involved with this, um, he has really thrived. We're, we're very fortunate because some people do a lot of different treatments and, and still don't get um, good results. And some people get great results with not doing a lot. Um, so that is actually how I became involved in trying to support my son in the best way um, that I could. And a lot of that involved trying to find activities for him, sometimes that were typical neurotypical activities, but ones that would um, support him therapeutically as well. Um, mm-hmm. So that is how I became involved. Well, I love that. And so I take it that your son is doing well, that y'all found some success on the other side of this. And that's encouraging for all of us to hear. My daughter's 13. And the more that I hear veteran parents like you, I consider y'all trailblazers, right? Had you not come before (laughs) us, then we wouldn't have been able to pick up the breadcrumbs and continue on. So I'm grateful for veteran parents to have kind of made this path that we can follow. And it is encouraging and uplifting because sometimes we as parents do find that it is very small steps. And I know that we appreciate mm, yes. the small steps. But you don't always see how far <laughs> you've come until you look backwards and you don't know what possibilities yes. are out there until you talk to somebody that's a few years ahead of you. So thank you for sharing that. Yes. Um, and I now, greatly appreciate today, it because that was true for me too, the parents that came ahead of, ahead of us. Thank you. It's amazing. Um, So now today you're talking more on the one-on-one peer. And I imagine that this is a program that's helping socialize our children more and more. Tell us a little bit about the program. So um, I'm an advisory member for Peer One-on-One for Autism. And this is an organically grown organization that started about five or six years ago here in Orange County, California. And what I love about this organization is that it is completely peer driven. Um, These are highly um, compassionate yet um, go-getting kinds of kids that have spread the word. Um, They now have about 15 chapters across California, mostly in Southern California, but they are spreading also to Northern California and even into other states. Um, They are focused on autism. They train their peers to be able to understand autism and support those with autism. And they put on a variety of different events and activities where um, our our kids with autism can be paired one-on-one with them. And they get the socialization experiences, whether it's participating in a talent show or an art show Um, For instance, my son just actually co-hosted an event uh, for them a little while ago. He's in musical theater. Um, He also was able to auction off his photography for a special needs event. Um, And these kids who are doing this in junior high and high school, by having that stigma um, and the fear of interacting with those with autism neutralized, Um, they are able to create kind of this inclusive network that's inherent to this 
this cohort. And these are going to be our employers of tomorrow. These are going to be our, our folks that are going to understand how to create and support opportunities for for our folks with autism. So I'm very fortunate to be um, part of this organization. Um, they are innovative. They work uh, with first responders because there's such a high incidence of negative interactions around that. Um, they're looking at um, housing options, employment opportunities. So um, it's very exciting to see it emerge and also to see it being driven specifically by these, uh, these young peers. I love that. And the reality is, is it's not just a win-win. I see that as a win-win-win, right? You've got not only yeah, you know, peers <laughs> that are going to be those future employers um, and the children that are, or the young adults that are being paired with them, that are getting that exposure and social ability. Yeah. But then you have a whole wave of people that are going to benefit from each of their experiences yes. as well in one way or another. Yeah. That's beautiful. So if someone's in Orange County, it's real easy to want to learn more about this. I imagine through websites and such, do you have opportunities yeah. for them elsewhere? And how would somebody get a hold of you? So absolutely anywhere, um, they're looking to expand all of the time into different branches and anybody who is interested in starting a branch anywhere is certainly welcome to contact us. Um, peer one, one on one, the number one, peer, P-E-E-R, one on one dot org is the website and um, the Gmail is there to be able to get a hold of us. And um, Zhang Shi Chang is our founder and president and she's always uh, very happy to answer questions as well. Um, it's all inclusive. Everybody's invited. And, you know, that is how we create the inclusive world of, of tomorrow by making it um, something that's normal and, and typical. I absolutely love this. And I love that you came on to share about this. So thank you for being a part of this with us today. And thank to you so all much. of those... Yeah, absolutely. And to all of those that are joining us, we appreciate you as well as we continue to explore the possibilities. <laughs>